here we are at the old fort, Fort Snelling State Park. Of course, it's a beautiful day. A lot of wildlife sign out here. Today, as you guys can see, I'm pretty well bundled up. It's about 10 degrees right now. In the direct wind, it's about minus one. So, it's pretty cold. That's a pretty big gap for temperature. Um, so, today I'm gonna be doing a review on this Absol Wool Anorak Bushcraft Coat. Stay tuned. Gorgeous. This is where the Mississippi and the Minnesota River meet. Just upstream over here. Hey Mo Crew, so we're out here in peace and quiet and uh, pretty cold as I mentioned before. My mustache is kind of freezing a little bit, but uh, hey, everything's perfect when you dress well for it. So I'm gonna be going over, um, oh actually in the past I've already gone over this anorak jacket. This is from Absol Wool. I'm gonna do a little 360 here for you. It's super comfortable, um, very warm, and you can wear it even when it's wet, it'll still keep you warm. That's the nice thing about wool. Um, so, it probably looks a little goofy. Here, if I can move you guys a little bit. Probably looks a little goofy, being so long and everything, but that's just exactly how this thing was designed. Um, it's designed to be worn over your legs, that way if you ever do sit on like a cold wet surface you still have the protection on your butt to keep your uh to keep you a lot more warm i guess you could say but uh yeah i'm gonna be going over a couple features of this thing right next to you like right in front of you where you can access it very easily you have your tinder pouch right here and this is where i keep all my fire starters when i go out hiking in the cold woods here i have them right here As you can see, very easy to use. And I can easily access it right in the center pocket right here. Or if I don't have the luxury of any dry kindling or tinder being around, I could always just put a little Bic lighter there. So it's pretty handy. And you can see this, uh, this pocket right here. It's lined with Sherpa, uh, it's got Sherpa lining which is warm for your hands so you can easily just if you ever get cold and everything you can always put your hands in here and it actually meets in the center which is pretty handy and nice but yeah so this is actually cut pretty large um, this is a large size and it's supposed to fit like this nice and baggy that way you can freely move uh, it keeps you warm I'm right now it's about 14 degrees right now in the shade um, and the wind it's it can be about minus one as i said before earlier on in this video but uh i'm perfectly warm i'm almost sweating um this is just a very nice coat underneath here you can just hide your bushcraft knife right here and uh this thing has decent features to it um it can zip down all the way where you can access other stuff if you're carrying like a little pocket pistol and you're not want to, you don't want to wear it on your side you can always carry a little pistol right here for personal protection and everything other than that this thing's really loose it's warm it does the work as a good bushcraft jacket for when you're out in the woods and any survival situation um, 
absolwool.com. I'll include the link in the bio, in the description as well. Um, just this year, they came out with uh, some overall bibs. So they have like the little suspenders on the back and uh, the wool, um, pretty much just wool pants that are boot cut so you can actually wear them over your boots, which is actually pretty nice. But yeah, um, this thing's not very styling, but it's warm and it's functional and that's all that anybody needs in order to be surviving in a cold environment. Hopefully this is a really good overview for you guys. Um, if you guys are interested in a jacket like this, they run about $140 and I think they're worth it big time. Um, they come in two weights. They come in the regular weight, which is this one right here, so it's still pretty thick. And then they come in a blanket weight, which is the one that my fiance wears since she gets, she's a little bit more vulnerable to the elements. But yeah, this thing's super warm. I absolutely love it. And you can even wear the hood and it's got the old style bushcraft hood that you also you see in like uh, the early 1800s for the uh, the fur trappers and mountain men too so this is just the perfect thing to wear in elements like this it's beautiful cold and crisp and wearing something like this that defeats the wind and keeps your body heat in makes it the perfect uh, time to go outside and have some fun and see some sights Anyway, I'm going to get back to hiking. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, hit the like button if you guys like this video. Um, enjoy my channel. I'm going to be doing more stuff uh, around bushcraft this winter. So this is going to be kind of, um, kind of my area of expertise. Uh, as you guys know, my friend KDB Fishing, Kamani Burrell, he, uh, he does the fishing side of everything. And uh, I do like bushcraft, and he's gonna start getting more into bushcraft too. And we're gonna be doing a uh, collaboration video together, and uh, I can't wait. Hopefully, it's gonna be in the cold months of uh, the year. So that's kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm aiming towards, because you know, bugs are under control, and uh, I don't know, it makes it a little bit more of a challenge, and people can be like, wow, those guys are out there in the cold. I mean, what did we do beforehand? So you know. Anyway, not to ramble on too much. I'm looking forward to the collaboration video with KDB Fishing and uh, we'll be out in the cold and uh, you guys will see how preparing the way that we do and wearing the things that we do will keep you safe, keep you warm and uh, keep you alive more importantly. Thank you for watching.